This is Jamal Khashoggi entering Saudi Arabia's consulate in Istanbul on October the 2nd. He's not been seen since. According to Turkish media, the Saudi journalist may have recorded his own death on his smartwatch. But Turkish officials have told TRT World these reports are untrue. Earlier in the week, Turkey agreed to allow Saudi Arabia to be part of a joint investigation. But now it wants Saudi authorities to speed up their cooperation. There has to be collaboration on the investigation between prosecutors and experts. Where did he go missing? Here, in the consulate. So, for the sake of this investigation and any outcome, we haven't yet received any proposal to cooperate. We want to see one. Our prosecutors and technical crew have to go inside and Saudi Arabia has to collaborate with us. Turkish investigators are looking into the movements and actions of 15 Saudi nationals who were in Istanbul on the day the journalist disappeared and left a few hours later. And there are allegations that Khashoggi may have been murdered inside the building. Such an act is actually an attack on all the values of the democratic world. It's an act that will never be forgiven or covered up. Saudi officials have dismissed the allegations, calling them baseless. While the U.S. President Donald Trump has said Washington will uncover the truth, he says he'll be speaking to the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. I haven't called him yet. I will be. I will be. And I'll be ki I will be also calling King Salman of Saudi Arabia because I think it's appropriate for me to ask him what is going on. Probably uh, tonight or tomorrow. Other countries are putting the pressure on Saudi Arabia as well. President Emmanuel Macron says France also wants to know what's happened. Et donc aujourd'hui. Today, I'm waiting for the truth and for complete clarity to be established. France would like everything to be done urgently, so we know the whole truth about this affair. The initial elements are extremely worrying and deeply serious. The outcry has led to several international organizations withdrawing from an economic meeting in Riyadh later this month. But the head of the International Monetary Fund says she still plans to attend. Horrifying things have been reported, and I am horrified. But I have to conduct the business of the IMF in all corners of the world and with many governments. If Riyadh thought this story was going to go away, then they're very much mistaken. The world's media is here, they have been for days, and the pressure's now building on Saudi Arabia to explain exactly what happened inside their consulate on October the 2nd. Francis Collins, TRT World, Istanbul.